welcome back to the Jack Wayne Show. Um, this episode is not going to be for the faint of heart. Um, viewer discretion is advised. Anyways, we're going to talk about the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, or Abby and Libby. Um, Libby was 14 years old, and Abby was 13. Um, on February 13th, they were dropped off. 2017, they were dropped off at a... Uh, hiking trail, whatever, whatever you want to call it, and um, well, they were dropped off by one of their sisters. I don't know whose sister it was. Maybe I think it was it was it was Libby's. Yeah, it was Libby's sister because her name was Kelsey uh, German. So, anyways, dropped her off. Um, they were supposed to meet their father at three fifteen p.m. on February thirteenth later that day. Um. The girls never showed. Um, her parents started looking for them. Couldn't find them. Called police. And this was back in t- 2017. Well, on one of the girls' phones, I think it was Libby's, she had a video recording. I don't know how long it was. I There's there's footage out there you can find online, but I, I didn't watch it because um, it, all it basically shows is the guy saying, down the hill there. And people believe that this man was the murderer. Um, that murdered these two young girls. Um, I don't know exactly um, when he be- when the person they charged uh, became a uh, person of interest, but they have charged someone with both the murders. Um, the case has been sealed, so no details of the case can be released. And, and then once the once it goes to court, that's when the um, Evidence and everything will present itself, essentially. Or, well, the prosecution will present it. Um, so, I'm kind of... I'm kind of interested in what... They found. Because just having a video of someone walking behind them and saying, Hey, down the hill there. They could have been... You know, the girls could have asked him anything. And he could have just said, Yeah, down the hill. Um, my friend, uh, Credence, we'll call him. Um, if you guys, uh, ever watch my gaming channel, you, his name's Dave, but we call him Credence, usually. <laughs> he has all kinds of names. Anyways, he brought this to my attention, that this man had been, uh, had been charged. And I remember these murders, but, you know, it was just, as quick as it comes on TV, it's, you know, a couple weeks, you, you know, you kind of forget about it. Um, and it's not too far from where I live. Um, I might live in Ohio, so it's just the next next state over. But uh, anyways, yeah. So there's no evidence that's gonna be presented yet. How the girls were slain, I don't know. I I want to say they were stabbed to death. I thought that's what I had heard before, but don't quote me on that, All right? Because I ain't said shit. Okay, I don't know. Um, we'll find out when the court hap- court case happens, and I don't know if the court. If the courts are going to allow uh, the news or any video recording of any sort, um, as far as journalism goes, and I kind of hope they do, um, but at the same time, you know, I didn't want to make this video really because I, you know, I feel I was thinking about if you know if 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 you know if I was the parents, it's like you probably get tired of people talking about it, maybe. Um, maybe it's disrespectful to put their names out there because they're minors or were minors, but it's all public information. I mean, you go to Wiki, you can find all on all in these news sites. Um, so there was a uh, oh god, what was it, a gym or something that their parents had opened? Let me see here. Uh, See, the families announced the plan, their plans to build a sports complex for Delphi, the memory of the girls. Okay, so a sports complex. Okay, a nonprofit organization. So that's that's pretty cool. LNA Park Foundation was formed to celebrate and commemorate the lives of Libby German and Abby Williams by creating a place for the appreciation of nature, art, play, and athleticism for generations to come. Because I was because I mean you can you can find their Facebooks. Um, it's not very hard. They're they're in the remembering thing, so obviously her parents 
did that for Facebook. You go on there, it says Remembering Abby, and then um, I believe you can find, or, or, well, Libby's. I think I found the other one, but anyways, I was on, going on there, and I, and I was trying to, you know, like, see if there was any, like, videos of them doing anything. Um, but at the same time then, I was like, man, I really don't want to put that on my YouTube channel. Like, to me, it just seems wrong in the sense of, like, exploiting these young girls that died for views, right? Because that's what YouTube's for. It's about views. And I don't want to be that kind of person at all. I'm only bringing this up because, like, it fucking sucks. Like, what a piece of shit. Um, he was from the, the hometown they were from, which is which is Delphi, or Delphi. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. My bad. I should look that up, I guess. But in Indiana, he was from there. Um, you know, these two young girls were just minding their own business on a hiking trail. And, you know, when you're 13, 14 years old, like, you know there's bad things out there, right? But you're not going to think that something like this would happen to you. And, you know, I can't help but think, like, what were they thinking in that moment that happened? All of it. Because who knows? I don't know if there's any details about what he did to him. Um, and it's just fucking sick. It is fucking sick. And, you know, like I was talking to Dave. Man. This guy, if he's the one that did it, um, whoever did it, they deserve their fucking rot in hell. For real. Two young girls just minding their own business, and he murders them. And for what reason? Who knows? Some kind of sick fetish or kink. I mean, it had to have been. It had to have been. Why else would he do it? You know? Or just the simple fact that he wanted to murder someone. I don't know. Maybe he was on drugs. Who knows. Um, but I'm hoping that they call it the right guy. I hope he's the one that did it. And he faces justice. Um, I don't know if it was premeditated. Um, maybe he planned going to that hiking trail that day to do something. Um, I, I don't know. But I, I would hope that he would get the death penalty. Who the fuck wants to house this motherfucker in a prison? Taxpayers pay for his fucking meals, his bed, his goddamn pillow, his goddamn toothpaste. Fuck that shit. Someone like this, whoever did this, they should be taken out back and shot in the back of the... You know what I'm saying. Hopefully YouTube doesn't flag me for that. Uh, but seriously, that's what we're all thinking, isn't it? I mean, we're a first world country, so at the end of the day... Everyone has the right to a fair trial. And, you know, you can't really shoot someone in the back of the head like that. It's not morally correct. But he's an evil son of a bitch. Whoever did this. And he deserves it. 100%. It pisses me the fuck off. What did a 13 or 14 year old ever do to anyone? They're little girls. They probably weren't even old enough yet to even to be interested in makeup yet. Maybe, maybe Libby was. She was 14, maybe. I don't know. But they had their whole lives ahead of them. And whoever did this took that away from them. They took away, and it took even more than that. They took daughters, sisters possibly, nieces, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, cousin. I mean, it just goes on and on. If you guys like the video, please like it, share it, maybe hit the subscribe button if you want. I'd appreciate it. And if you want me to make more videos about this, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Because as much as I hate, I absolutely fucking hate stories like this. Bringing awareness to the victims. People knowing who they were. Um... But there's some silver lining to it, I guess, in a way. It kind of makes you feel good, I guess, you know. Maybe that's a selfish part of me, I guess. But like I said, I don't want to exploit dead people in a sense to get views. Because that's not what it's about.